Hello everyone, welcome to day eight. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're already eight episodes into this run. Oh, exciting stuff today, guys, exciting stuff. First, let's talk about the uh, the main reason we're doing this, uh, these particular episodes, the minis. So, on gray, we still have Metal Greymon. Do you need to eat? No, of course you don't. That's okay. So, sadly, I will say this, he did not, he did not digivolve to Mega Level, which is really sad. Um, but, on the good side, we did get Hercules Kabuterimon. So I can say, scientifically, that we in fact do not need to battle any more than the original 30 battles you did at Champion Level, because we got a Mega Level right here with no more battles. So, hell yeah. Uh, it looks like the odds are the same from Ultimate to Mega Level. So, the 50% Digivolution rate is why we did not get a War Greymon. And the 80% is why we got Hercules Kabuterimon. Uh, I'm, I'm jazzed I got one of them to Mega Level. Hell yeah. That's great. That's rad as hell. Mega Levels. Oh, and he's so cool looking. He looks... I don't know. He looks messed up. Like, he looks evil. Even though Hercules Kabuterimon's not evil, he looks kind of evil. He looks more like a demon than he does a uh, big beetle guy. But whatever. He looks awesome. He looks angry, happy at the same time. Yeah, like, what is that? I don't know. I'll take it, though. He's awesome. Let's see what he looks like when he eats. Very good. Very beetle-y. Very demonic at the same time. Demon beetle. So, in order to Digivolve again... Uh, one step further to the ultra level, I guess, or the super mega level, or super ultimate level. What? I don't know. I don't think it has an official, like, real ass term. I could be wrong. I've heard it so many different ways. But basically, to stage up, to get to get higher, right? Uh, he can digivolve into a Digimon called uh, Tyrant Kabuterimon, I believe. Uh, and he looks amazing. I can't wait for it to happen. And this requirement is that he has battled a hundred times in his life. Uh, so right now we can go look at his record and he has battled 36 times. So it also doesn't matter if you win or not, which is great. Uh, not that, I mean, he should win anyway, but so I can actually use Metal Greymon here as his sparring partner because he's not going to digivolve anyway. So I just need to battle them like, I don't know, like, 70 freaking times uh, <laughs> or almost 70 like uh, I can't math right now what is that what was it I don't even remember what his battle number was record 36 so 64 more times uh, I have 80 hours he did evolve today so probably not exactly 80 more like 78 or 76 because I'm not exactly sure what time he did evolve but uh, the lifespan of this thing is 80 hours you have 80 hours to get those 100 battles in I mean to make sure your battles are at 100 so, um, I don't think it'll be too bad. Uh, I'm probably going to get my girlfriend to help me battle them later. And it'll be all good. So, yeah. And once you meet that requirement, you digivolve to, you know, again after the time is up. So, Tyrant Kabuterimon, you are coming to me, big boy. Uh, let's see. Purple Device. News on the Purple Device. He's still Dorumon. Um... He should digivolve relatively soon now that I've stopped putting him to sleep. So I did compete in the tournament more. I did fight Digital Dream 09, ya boy, uh, the ninth Digi Destin. It was a really fun fight. He, his Draco Mon X fought valiantly, uh, but I did win, which I was not expecting. So Dorumon pulled out a win, which was great. So I had one loss, two wins, and then I had another battle this morning uh, during lunchtime. Uh, and sadly, Dorumon lost. It was a shadow battle, or a clone battle, whatever you want to call it. I fought another Dorumon, and the other Dorumon, for whatever reason, uh, was like, nah, you ain't gonna win today. So, he was the real Dorumon, and I was the shadow Dorumon, so I obviously had to die. So, anyway, I got kicked out of the tournament. It's a double, a double elimination, excuse me, but I did better than I thought I was going to for my first tournament, so that was fun. Uh, in sad news today, the saddest of news, the thing I was using 
Oh, hold on. I gotta get it. The thing I was using to connect to the internet to play these battles, my uh, Digimon helper I ordered from Malaysia, uh, I foolishly picked it up by its USB cable and fucking broke it. Uh, real sad. Uh, I don't think it can be repaired properly. Uh, like, I don't think I can solder this bit back on and have it just work. So I'm s mailing it back to Malaysia. Um, the guy who built it for me said that he would fix it. Uh, I'm not sure how much it'll cost. Um, this thing wasn't super expensive in the first place, and he's only replacing this one board. So I can't imagine it'll be too much to fix. I'm guessing about maybe $13, $15. Something along those lines. I'm not entirely sure. He hasn't said. But we'll see. Um, I mean, the thing that sucks is like it's going to take like another, I don't know, month or something, to, or maybe more, to get it back in. So that's real sad. Uh, so no tournaments for me anytime soon, I guess. Um, I mean, I'm just a little happy that he's willing to fix it for me and that I, I can do all of that. And next time I'll just be really careful not to pick up things by their USB cables. I really just wasn't thinking. I was just trying to move it out of the way and I picked it up and it snapped off. So, uh, I don't know if anyone else has had that experience with, um, the Arduino Nano boards, which is what that is. Uh, snapping like that. Uh, it could have been just like a faulty one or something. Bad luck, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and lastly, <laughs> on the dock for today. So, I have, I don't want to say good or bad news, weird news with these guys. I don't know how to turn off their sound. They're just loud and annoying, and they need shit constantly. So, I could not bring them to work. And when they die, it just cuts back to the rabbit. Like, select the new dude, asshole. You killed the last one you had. So, I was going to show off some of the games and things that there are on here today. But what I'd rather do today is, one more time, quickly scroll through all of the things that it can be. And I want you to tell me in the comments below, what should I raise? Uh, you know, is it a dude? Should I... Should I raise a dog or a dinosaur or a fish? What should I raise uh, on both of them? Because I, I do want to mess around with this a bit more. Uh, also, if you know how to turn off the sound, please tell me. Because I, I'm i going to have to restart from scratch every <laughs> every time. Because I can't, I can't bring... It's so loud. I cannot bring them to work this loud. It's crazy. Why does this... My, my camera has such a hard time with... Adjusting the lighting for this guy. You know, should I run so Sosuke Bosuke? <laughs> should I run um, Cloud? Should I run a Tamagotchi? Should I run a, a fake Digimon or a Yokai or a Transformer? Or whatever these things are? I, I mean, I don't, I literally have no idea what these things are. I've never seen a virtual pet that has these things in them. But from what I can tell, most of this stuff is, like, probably ripped off of other things. Like, that's some weird Hello Kitty. It's gotta be, right? It's like a fisherman. You just can, you can raise a fisherman. So tell me what to pick. Who am I raising on both of these guys? I'll try my best to keep them alive. Uh, especially tomorrow, because I don't have a lot of work tomorrow. So I'll, I'll do my due diligence. And then, hopefully, I can play some of these mini-games a little bit more, get a better idea for how they are played, what these menus do, and I can report back to you <laughs> with my findings. These fake Digimon right here are so funny to me. They look so awkward and weird. Gilmon is just a head. is real great. That's just a face as well. The one thing I will give these devices is that, like... <clears throat> You can see them from like any angle. The, the the LCD they use like really dark and really solid. Like sometimes the Digimon are like hard to see. These things are super easy to see, which is great. So of all the weird dinkiness of this thing, there's at least that. The Transformers are really funny. It's weird to me that you have to pick one or the other. Like I'm gonna raise Starscream in his jet mode or raise Starscream in his robot mode. That's such a weird <laughs> thing. Like, I don't. Is that Mega Man? Is that Zero? It looks kind of like it. The boats kill me. That's so good. Bugs. I mean, I, I'm a fan of beetles, so the beetles are right. Praying Mantis. A snail. 
peacock, hippo, I don't know, a mouse. Oh, uh, okay. All right, so anyway, that was all of the things you can pick. Um, please tell me what I'm going to raise. Give me a shout. Tell me what I should raise. I really don't know. There's a, I mean, because there are 168 options, I don't know what to pick. Uh, so you help me. Pick, pick for me. Uh, and lastly, before we go today, I do want to throw a couple shout outs. Uh, thank you so much, Nick Did You Know, and Jesse and Little Siri for commenting specifically about these things. <laughs> um, also, uh, my buddy Tori as well. Uh, they were laughing at my, um, at the silliness of these Chinese uh, knockoff V pits, cheap ass V pits. Uh, and I, I appreciate the love, I, I appreciate the. The fact that you guys liked watching that beautiful disaster. I was really worried that that video was just too long and that it was really boring. Um, so I'm, I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. I really wasn't sure. Uh, and uh, lastly, I do want to throw a shout out to uh, um, Koko Jinja. Uh, he, I, I, I know I messed up your name. Sorry, bud. I'm not very good at pronouncing Chinese stuff. Um, my girlfriend did tell me that in English, your your your, your channel name uh, translates to Knock Knock Family Mart, which I think is amazing. So uh, please allow me to call you Knock Knock Family Mart. Um, I, w I would love that. Uh, he he had a cool comment. He he threw out that he knew what this song was I used last episode, the Prontera theme from Ragnarok Online. Uh, hell yeah, fellow RO player. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, if you guys ever hear music in my videos that you are into and you're like, heck yeah, where is that from? Ask me, I'll tell you. And also, if you know what it's from, please put that in the comments. I'm, I'm always happy to know that I'm not alone in my musical, uh, my musical choices. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys have a lovely, what is this, Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. I hope you guys had a lovely Tuesday. <laughs> Time is irrelevant and foolish. Yeah, take it easy. Bye.